सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डी सी सी नीटा यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी विल भी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम बी पॉइंट ऑन प्लेन एडुकेशनल कोर्ट कोर्सेज राउंड वन फोर्टी फाइव सो आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी रेड द प्रॉब्लम इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी रेड द प्रॉब्लम और ट्राइड इट बाई योर सेल्फ देन आई हाईली इंकरेज यू टू ट्राई इट बाई योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट देन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और प्रॉब्लम यू कैन कम टू दिस एडिटोरियल एंड आस्क एनी डाउट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वी विल ट्राई टू रिजॉल्व इट सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम so we will be given a two dimensional plane where you we can place n chips on it okay so we can only place a chip at integer coordinates and cost of placing a chip at a point x comma y is equals to absolute value of x plus absolute value of y what that what does this means so suppose we suppose we put up suppose we put up chips at point suppose one minute Suppose we put a chip at point minus two comma five. So the cost will be absolute value of two plus absolute value of five, which will be equals to seven. So I hope this is clear. Now let's get back to the problem. So the cost of placing n chips is equals to maximum amount cost of each chip. So the cost will be maximum among all the maximum among the cost of each chip. What does this mean? This means this means suppose. Okay. Now, suppose we put a we put a chip at point of minus two comma three, and another another chip at point three comma six, then another chip at point four comma minus two. So here the cost will be mod of minus two plus three equals to five. Here cost will be nine. Here cost will be six. so what is the maximum among them maximum is 9 so 9 will be the cost so 9 will be the cost of placing chips okay so now what will be what we have to find so we need to place n chips on the plane in such a way that euclidean distance between each pair of chips is strictly greater than 1 and the cost is minimum possible so what does this mean so this means This means so suppose we are given a coordinate like this. So we we put a chips here, 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 and we put a chips here. So the distance between any two chips should be strictly greater than one. So it's like we can't put a chips at zero comma zero and then chips at one zero comma one. Okay, sorry, one comma zero, because here distance will be one. We don't want distance to be one or less than one. We want distance between any two. And you two chips to be greater than one, strictly greater than one. Okay. Now, now we have we have value of n as ten to the power eighteen. Okay, we will see about that. So for each test case, print a single integer. The minimum cost to place n chips if the difference between each pair of chips must be strictly greater than one. Okay. So let's see how can we solve this problem. Let's take some of the. Okay, let's start taking some of the test cases. So suppose initially we have only one chips, okay. So we have n equals to one. That means we have one chips. So what will we do? We will simply place these chips at zero comma zero, and the answer will be zero. And uh, and now now suppose n equals to two. So we will put a chips at suppose zero comma zero. Me the. Zero comma zero, and another chips will be we can put at zero uh, comma one. No, we can't put another chips at zero comma one. So th this won't work. And so we what we can do is we can put a chips at minus one comma zero and one comma zero. So one chip set minus one comma zero and one chip set one comma zero. So what will be the distance between these two chips? This will be two. So here answer will be two. Now let's check for. Uh, so can we do anything else to make it even better? Okay. So so can what can we do about it? So that cost will be. Minimum. I'm sorry. So here cost will be cost. What we do here? We 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 will have one as cost, and here we will be have one. So maximum of these two will be one. So 
here we get one now check for n equals to 3 now we check for n equals to 3 so for n equals to 3 we can put a chips here so that is minus 1 comma 0 we can put a chips here that is 1 comma 0 we can put another chips here that will be uh, 0 comma 1 so here distance is greater than 1 here distance between these two chips greater than 1 and distance between these two chips is greater than 1 so we are satisfying the condition we are satisfying the condition now we we have to check what are the cost for each chips so here cost will be 1 placing cost for placing these chips cost for placing this chip will also be 1 and cost for placing this chip will also be 1 so maximum of these three answer will be for 1 for n equals to 3 answer will be 1 now check for n equals to 4 now check for n equals to 4 for n equals to 4 we can place a chips here we can place a chips here we can place a chips here we can place a chip here so this is you can understand this is 0 comma 1 this is 1 comma 0 this is minus 0 comma okay sorry so 0 comma minus 1 this is minus 1 comma 0 so distance greater than 1 distance is between these two chips greater than 1 distance between these two chips greater than 1 distance between these two chips greater than 1 and the cost for this chips 1 cost for placing this chips is 1 cost for placing this chip is 1 cost for placing this chip is 1 so uh, maximum of these four values is maximum of these four value will be 1 so answer for n equals to answer for n equals to 4 is 1 okay so answer for this n equals to 4 is 1 now check for n equals to 5 so we will check for n equals to 5 so for n equals to 5 can we place chips like this 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 no we can't because what where will we place the fifth chip so if we place fifth chip here so it will be distance equals to one here here distance will be equals to one equals to one equals to one we don't want it so we will have to we will have to check another another way okay so, so let's check another way another way can be Another way can be one minute. Okay. So another way can be placing a chip. Suppose this is this is one comma sorry zero comma one. This is zero comma one. This means this is one comma zero. This is zero comma minus one. This is minus one comma zero. So we can do like place a chip here, place a chip here, place a chip here, and place a chip here, and place another chip here. So we have five chips. So here distance is here distance. Sorry, distance. I am saying I am. It should be cost. So here cost will be one. Here cost will be one. Here cost will be one. And here cost will be one. And here cost will be one. And uh, distance between any any two chips is. You can say distance between any any two chip is greater than one. Your distance is two. Your distance is two. Your distance is two. Your distance is two. And one chip is here, so we can check your distance is root under two, so greater than one. So we can place five chips like this, and answer here uh, here answer will be here answer will be so this is one comma one. This point is one comma minus one. This point is minus 1 comma minus 1 this point is minus 1 comma 1 so here distance is cost is 2 here cost is 2 here cost is 2 here cost is 2 so answer equals to 2 now suppose we have n equals to 6 then we can do like suppose we have n equals to 6 then we can place a chip here so again here cost will be cost will be 2 and and distance between each each chip will be greater than one. And another chip we can place here that is zero comma two. Another chip we can place here. Another chip we can place here. So for n equals to six, we can place one here. For n equals to seven, we can place one here. For n equals to eight, we can place one here. And for n equals to nine, we can place one here. So what I wanted to see you see you is there is a pattern. So what is a pattern? So let's see pattern first. So let's go back. 
so n equals to for n equals to one answer is zero. Okay, so let's write write it down. N equals to one answer is zero. N equals to two. N equals to two. Okay, so n equals to two again answer is for n equals to two answer is one. N equals to three answer is one. n equals to four answer is one. For n equals to four answer is one, and n equals to five answer is two. n equals to five answer is two, and n equals to six answer is oh, one minute. So for n equals to six answer is also two because six chip we can place here. For n equals to seven answer is also two because seven chip can be placed here. For n equals to eight answer is also two because eight chip can be placed here. And equals to nine answer is also two because nine chip can be placed here. And uh, and we, if you want to see the cost, so suppose this is minus two, sorry zero comma minus two. So cost cost will be two. So maximum will be two. So for n equals to ten, now we can't place any chip in this range, and we have to go beyond this. Then then answer will increase to three. So what I want to see you is, let's go back to the observation. So here is the, the observation. So so for n equals to for n equals to four, answer is answer is one. N equals to five, answer is answer is two. N equals to six, answer is two. N equals to seven, answer is two. N equals to eight, answer is two. N equals to nine, answer is two. And when n equals to ten, answer increases when with two three. So you can see a pattern here. So whenever it's a perfect square, answer is root under n minus one. And whenever it's not a perfect perfect square, answer is root under n. So root under two equals to one. Root under three equals to one. Root under four minus one equals to one. And root under one one is perfect square. So again here will be root under one minus one. That is zero. Five is not a perfect square. So answer will be root under five. Six is not perfect square. Answer will be root under six. Seven is not a perfect square. Answer will be root under seven. Eight is not a perfect square. Answer will be root under eight. Nine is not a perfect square. Answer will be root under nine minus. Sorry, nine is a perfect square. So answer will be root under nine minus one. Ten is not a perfect square. Answer will be root under ten. So here root under five to root under six to root under seven to root under eight to root under nine is three minus one two. Now root under ten equals to three. So I hope you. Uh, solution is clear to you. Now let's get back to the code. So here, you, we have to do nothing. We have to take n as input. Then we take root of that number. So we take take root as we take root as floor of the n floor of square root of n. So suppose suppose n equals to four, n equals to four. Then this will give us two. Suppose n equals to n equals to five, then the root will also be two. It won't be like two point something something something. It will be two. So, so what what we are doing here is we are checking if root into root equals to n. So if you if it is a perfect square, then root into root will be equals to n. Then we answer will be root under n minus one. That is root minus one. And if it is not a perfect square, that means root under root into root will not be equals to n. So In case of five, in case of five, which is not a perfect square, which is not a perfect square, so the root root function will give us root function will give us root under five equals to two. So two into two will be equals to four, which is not equals to five. So here this is not a perfect square. So suppose it was four, then root under four will give us two, and two into two equals to four. So this is a perfect square. So I hope the code is clear. So whenever it is a perfect square. We print root root minus one, and whenever it is not a perfect square, we print the root itself. So this is the accept, accepted solution. You have to check how to find the root without any error. Like you can't use double or anything because that was giving me wrong answer. You can check for that. So I just made this function, and it is accepted. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, please put in the comment section.